Hi everyone, this is Sherry from Planning Peep and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my spread for the week of October 8th through October 14th and this week will be completely memory plan which is what I've been doing lately. I've really been enjoying using my Erin Condren for like journaling purposes and memory keeping and so everything in here is back planned for now. Um, I usually write down everything that I do each day on my phone. I just keep track of it in the notes app and that helps me um, to create my spread. So anyways, for this week, I have a really gorgeous kit from Hey Soul Sticker. As you can see, it is rose gold foiled and it is so gorgeous. Um, here are the full boxes. And this sheet also has lots of foiling. It has the bottom washi, the date covers, a sidebar tracker, and some date dots at the top. This is the last foiled sheet of the kit and it's got a foiled weekend banner, some um, little bow stickers, and then lots of icons here. We've got checklists, flags, um, habit trackers, and then here we have all the functional items, uh, more flags, little things, glitter headers, and then some headers on this bottom corner right here. We have, what are these? I think these are washi strips. We have third boxes, half boxes, and quarter boxes, as well as full heart checklists um, on this page. I probably won't really be using these because um, I noticed that when I memory plan, I don't really write down my to-do list and things like that. So I tend to have lots of these boxes left over. But anyways, um, I am really excited to jump right in. As usual, I'm gonna start by placing down my bottom washi. And this week the washi just fits. I really don't want to trim off any of this gold foiling. It's so pretty, so I'm just gonna um I'm just gonna put it down as is, which will take up the entire bottom space. Um, I usually like there to be a little room above and below, but that's okay because again, I don't want to trim this gold foil, so let's just go ahead and get started. As I had anticipated, the bottom washi did take up that entire space, but I do think that it turned out really pretty anyway, so I didn't really mind it. And um, on the sidebar, I put down the quote box that says free falling in the top corner, and then I go ahead and place down all of my date covers after whiting out um, the dates on the Erin Condren, just because I didn't want it to peek through those date covers at all. And then I also placed down the heart-shaped date covers, or I'm sorry, the date dots right over that, and I think it turned out so, so cute. Um, I did use some flags that that came in the kit as the top corner flags and then I continue on with my sidebar which I've been doing the same way lately so I first put down a glitter header from the kit the habit tracker is to track working out which I love doing because um, I, I like to be able to see when I've been working out um, then I put down a third box with a heart checklist to mark all my happy memories of the week at the bottom I used a meals little thing and the foiled Monday through Sunday box to track my dinners on that third box, I put down one of the foiled bows from the kit, and then I wrote in happy memories because that's just what I've been liking to track lately in my planner. Um, I think I started it over the summer, uh, maybe a year ago, and I just really enjoy writing down things that make me happy throughout the week. And um, anyways, then moving to Monday, first I put down a glitter header at the top, and then as always, I wanna mark Coffee Monday because I always like to get my little coffee treat on Monday mornings to give myself an extra boost. The coffee sticker is is from Fox and Pip. Then on Monday, I wanted to note that I didn't have any meetings, so I put that on a little things, and then I found these really gorgeous foiled headers from Rose Color Days, and they are in gold foil, which is perfect and match the kit, and it has like this lacy kind of pattern that I thought was so pretty, so I did pull them in every single day. I moved to the bottom and put down a full box there because I knew that's where I wanted it. And I kind of had trouble figuring out if I wanted to cover the full boxes or not. And so I think what I ended up deciding on was just to cover part of the full boxes, um, just so there wasn't so much empty space, but you could still see a lot of the foiling. So on that full box, I used a third box with a film slate from the kit. And then I brush lettered edit because I did edit that night. Um, moving back to the middle section, I used a three heart check checklist to mark some of the things that I did that um, afternoon when I got home. That little pen sticker I believe also came in the kit or may have been a leftover sticker so I'm not quite sure where that's from. Um, but anyways I also worked out on Monday so I put down a little dumbbell sticker from Sunset Sticker Co. to mark my workout. I did a kickboxing workout which totally kicked my butt and then I used a meal little thing to mark my um, dinner for that night and I usually don't need to since I have my um, dinners tracker on the side but I did have that extra little space so that's just what I chose to fill it with. Then for Tuesday, 
I put down a full box at the top and I used a computer sticker from Paper and Milk to mark a morning meeting that I had. I put the time of the meeting inside the computer, which I thought was really cute. And then um, I did have an IEP meeting later that day. So I used a quarter box, I'm sorry, a half box with a um, rose gold foiled IEP flag from Jadora Planning. Um, I got those from a friend and they are super gorgeous. I love pulling those in. I checked my PO box before I went home. So I used a flag sticker with the foiled Happy Mail. Um, icon that came in the kit. Then I used a glitter header with a third box and a workout shoe sticker from Panda Bird Designs to mark that I did my workout that day. It was a Bollywood dance workout, which is really fun. And then um, I used a quarter box with that little pencil pen sticker from the kit to mark that I had to get my neighbor's signature because we have to paint our house and for some reason we need the neighbors to approve that. But anyways, at the bottom, I did my voiceover that night. So I used a voiceover script icon from Sunset Sticker Co. And then um, I felt like I really liked that pen icon, but I think it was just taking up a little bit too much room and it looked kind of crowded. So I switched it out with another pen icon and that is from Little Star Plans. I also use a Mandy Dreams film clapper to mark my voiceover. On Wednesday, I started the day by putting down a um, half box and then I pulled in another gold foil bow from the kit to mark that Wednesday was um, October 10th, which is kind of like a holiday in Taiwan. And obviously I don't celebrate it here in the US, but my parents celebrated it. So I um, wanted to mark that in my planner. Um, I also didn't have a whole lot going on on that day. So it was perfect to take up a little extra room. Under that, I did have an observation to do at work that day. So I put down a flag with um, those glasses stickers which are from Laven Forest, and I just put the time of the observation inside the glasses. I then put down a full box, and I didn't really want to write directly on the foiling, so I used this um, Lazy Panda sticker. I think it's from either Very Jenny Co. or Sweet Fox Papery. I can't remember right now. Um, and then the Not Today script sticker also came in that same sticker sheet. I think I was just having a really tough time that Wednesday. I had a lot of work that was starting to build up and really kind of stressing me out, so um, I just kind of put that down like I was so over the day. Um, I used another pretty rose gold foil header from Rose Color Days and then under that I put down a half box with a bow paper clip sticker from Planner Frenzy to mark that I had to stop by the paint store before I went home um, so that I could pick out the colors that we were going to paint our house. At the very bottom, I put down a little things to mark the TV show that we were watching, which was Terrace House, one of our all-time favorites. And then on Wednesday, again, I just was having a rough day. I didn't feel like working out and I was just so, so hungry. So I ended up eating like two different things for dinner and had like 10 different snacks and desserts afterwards. Um, so I used a munchkin, like a binge eating munchkin sticker from Once More With Love. So Wednesday was definitely a cheat day, which I felt guilty about at first, but then I realized, you know what, we all need a cheat day every now and then. It's so hard to be on a regimented diet and everything, and we all deserve a cheat day. So that totally made me feel better. But um, then moving to Thursday, I put down a glitter header with a uh, flag sticker to mark that I had to go pick something up in the morning. That remember um, rose gold foiled sticker is from Rose Color Days. Then I used a third box with a Mario the Marshmallow sticker from Paper and Milk, who is super happy because um, I had no meetings again on Thursday, and that's always nice. I put down another gold foil header. Initially, I put down this workout sticker that came in the kit, but I do switch it out later on. Um, I put down the half box, which was to mark date night. And here's where I'm switching out the workout icon. I ended up using a shoe sticker, which I think is from Simply Laura Paper Shop. For date night, I put down another one of those uh, foiled bows that came in the kit, and then I put down a full box at the bottom of the day. We did go to Target after date night because I had to pick up a few things, and so um, I used a third box right over that full box, and I believe that shopping cart icon was for my leftovers collection. At the end of the night, we binge watched Terrace House, of course, because every time a new series comes out, we're just like always so excited to watch, and that binge watching sticker is from Love Shira. On Friday, I first put down one of those lacy foiled headers, and then I put the full box underneath. Um, to mark TGIF on Friday, I put down those heart sunglasses sticker, which came in the kit, and I just thought that was a cute way to mark that I was super excited. And under that, I used a glitter header with a little things to mark my coffee that I also love to get on Fridays. That coffee sticker is from Chasing Chels. 
To mark a morning meeting, I used a paperclip bow sticker from Very Cute Designs, and then I did have an IEP that afternoon, so I put that on a half box. Again, I pulled in another one of those foiled IEP flags from Jador Planning, and then Friday was super crazy. We just suddenly had this like rainstorm with thunder and lightning, which we don't get very often, um, so we were excited and wanted to get pho because that's always like our rainy day craving. That pho bowl sticker is from Hazel Sticker, and at the end of the night, of course, we watch more Terrace House. I think we finished it this night and um, the Netflix sticker is from the kit. Moving to the weekend, I placed down the foiled weekend banner right there at the top and I think it's so pretty with that little dainty bow at the end. And then on Saturday, because it had rained the day before, it was like perfect sweater weather, which I was so excited about because um, I was so ready for the heat to be done. And I put that on a third box with a bundled up girl from Fox and Pip. I did some laundry that morning, so I think that laundry sticker might have come in the kit or maybe it was the leftovers. I'm so sorry, I cannot remember right now. But anyways, under that, I used another foiled header with a full box. We went and got lunch at this really good teriyaki chicken place. So I didn't really have like specific teriyaki chicken stickers. So I just put down this like little bibimbap, like Korean bowl to kind of mark that, um, which I thought totally worked. And then I went to a friend's birthday party um, briefly. So I put that on a half box and I think that birthday cake um, sticker came in the kit. And then after I left the birthday event, uh, my boyfriend and I met up with some friends at a brewery. Um, they were having their like anniversary party, um, which actually was their two year anniversary, but I accidentally put one year. I don't know why I totally blanked on that. And um, to mark that, I used some beer stickers from Sunset Sticker Co. Um, it turned out really fun. We stayed there for a while um, and yeah, we got to see some friends. So it was a good time. Then for a Sunday, I knew I wanted that full box at the bottom. So I put that down first. Um, and then originally I used the foiled header above that, but I decided I wanted it at the top of the day instead. Um, and then I used a flag sticker with a sleep in pillow from Toffee Bananas to mark that Sunday I just slept in. It was still kind of cool and chilly that day, which I love. Um, so that was really exciting. Then underneath, I put down a quarter box with a laptop sticker from Sweet Kawaii Designs to mark that I edited my haul video that morning. Um, I used a glitter header with a three heart checklist to mark some places that we went. And just to add some foiling, I put down another foiled remember header from Rose Color Days. One of the places we went was to get boba, so I put down a boba sticker, and that is from Paper and Milk, and then um, when I got home, I did some more filming. I used a glitter header with what I think is like a washi strip, and then I just layered over it the um, gold foil or rose gold foiled film icon that came in the kit. Then in the middle of that full box, I put down a third box and um, we did stop by Target at the end of the night and grab some groceries. So I used a Target Run sticker, which is from Love Shira. And then that tiny, cute little grocery bag is from Sunset Sticker Co. And I really love some of those little mini stickers that she has, um, which fit perfectly in those little spots. And that is it for this week. I just moved back to my sidebar and I'm filling in my workouts, my dinners, and now I'm zooming out and just showing you the stickers that I have left in the kit. And again, these will be added to my little leftovers pile. I'm going to be doing a giveaway for these leftover stickers probably in a week or two, so definitely be on the lookout for that video. I always put um, plan with me plus giveaway or something like that in my title, so you'll know when uh, one of my videos has a giveaway. Um, but anyways, this is how my beautiful foiled spread turned out. I love this so much. Um, I just want to thank Ada, who's the owner of Hazel Sticker, for sending me this kit and letting me try it out. I think it's so, so beautiful. Her artwork and design designs are just amazing and um, I really rarely use foiled kits just because they're really kind of pricey and so I was really excited to have this opportunity and yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this let me know if you have any questions and I hope you guys are all doing well um, and I will talk to you in my next video bye